Ever since I did my EPSX e Final Fantasy 7 HD tutorial a few years back, a lot of people been asking me, what is the difference between the PC version, the Steam version, not the original PC version, but the Steam version, and the emulated version PS1 EPSXE? Now, it took me a while because I actually did not buy Final Fantasy 7 until a few days ago, and I've been rigorously playing it just so I can get you guys a good, decent worth of footage so I could really in-depth this video because while I was trying to do this video, I've been noticing a lot, a lot of differences that are not graphical. They're actually internal. They're actually internal. So it was very hard making this video because a lot of things that I'm going to talk about are the fact that their differences are actually internal and not very graphical. So let's actually do this. So moving on, the first thing you're going to notice is obviously the video cutscene, the famous Final Fantasy VII cutscene that really set the tone. I mean, the P, I mean the the PS1 version, obviously the EPSXE does a good job actually rendering these pre-render videos. Um, the filtering that I put on it really, really smooths out the pixels. Really tries to smooth out these jagged jagged edges, and it gives a good. Goodish, clearish, you know, video. Now the PC version, the Steam version, they also done some work on it. Obviously, uh, looks like they upscaled it. Some anti-aliasing, you know, they did uh, a few things with Square Inc. is known for because they did the Kingdom Hearts series in a s similar way. But one of the interesting things is right here in this clip right here, which I'm gonna show a picture of, is. The background, the actual background. Now, the Steam version, for some odd reason, now when you zoom in, which I'm going to have a picture right now, when you zoom in, the EPSXE version filters it a lot better than the Steam version filters out these backgrounds a lot better. And it's very noticeable, even at normal normal resolution normal 1080p resolution but when i zoomed it in more you could really clearly tell that this filtering that i put in epsxe which is built into the actual emulator is phenomenal is phenomenal and it really shows a difference now the 3d characters you know the obviously the steam version does a better job with shaders and stuff like that but Obviously, with the EPSXE, if you have custom shaders enabled, you could get a similar result. But what's more important is these actual backgrounds. There are almost no kind of filtering or anti-aliasing whatsoever in these backgrounds in the Steam version. Like, it doesn't look like they Square Inc. did anything to the textures and the background. Like, it looks just completely, completely normal, which is kind of kind of disappointing because they done a great job in behind the scenes behind the scenes that are invisible they fixed a lot of problems they did better trans they did better translation the translation the original ps1 version the pc version wasn't really that great and then a lot of things fell inaccurate now they fixed that they added achievements you know they fixed um um, major bugs that were in the original PS1 and in the original PC version. They added widescreen support, obviously. They added windows. They fixed a control. They fixed a little bit of the control scheme. Um, you know, if anybody played the original PS1 version, circle was the okay and X was the cancel. A lot of people had issues with that. You, you know, you could fix that, but with mods. But um, you know, they added it by default. They added achievements. They fixed the music. The music is uh, better quality. Um, you know, they fixed bugs with Vincent. And I, I know Vincent had a lot of bugs in the original PS1 version, the original PC version. Um, you know, there's no more disc change, obviously, because this is digital. I know in the PS1 and in the original PC version, we actually had three CDs. Believe it or not, we actually had three CDs, guys. We're in 2017. CDs are pretty much irrelevant now, but back in the days, you know, anybody who's a 90s gamer, early PS1 will know that 
big case Final Fantasy came in with three CDs, and Final Fantasy VIII actually had four CDs. So if you lost any one of those CDs, you know, you couldn't finish the game. So, you know, so many things behind the scenes that were fixed. But graphically, EPSXE takes the lead in graphics, which is very, very, very weird. Because you would think that uh, you would think that Square Inc would sp would spend just as much time graphically fixing a lot of things than behind the scenes. Now don't now don't get me wrong. I liked all the fixes they did behind the scenes because this game is much more fluid than 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 actually the original counterpart. But I would like to see more graphical fixes. Now one thing anybody who played Final Fantasy VII before knows that. There is a mod out there called Seven Heaven. This mod is just phenomenal. I'll probably, hopefully, in the next probably month or so, I'll probably do another Final Final Fantasy VII video with this mod. But this mod just makes this game look incredible. I mean, the amount of details and time they made this mod. I mean, oh my God, this mod. Anybody who's Final Fantasy VII fan and has the PC version should get this mod. It makes it so much better. And it's like almost a complete overhaul visually of the game. And it will probably, it satisfies me for the most part un, 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 until the official Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out. But this mod just kills it. I mean, that's probably one of the things, one of the things that made me buy this game for actually Steam is to implement this, this actually mod. Because... I mean, Steam just graphically just like this game is not great graphically. Like I'm amazed the emulator does a better job filtering these textures and this background does a better job filtering it than actually Steam does. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, I just don't know where Square Inc. went wrong. Like, why didn't they try better doing doing these graphical upscales like they did a great job with the 3d models but yet this but yet the the 2d section almost has no love whatsoever which is kind of disappointing and i really really hate it whatsoever but going going back to this game i mean wow i mean i'm really amazed of how well this ps1 em emulator does this game that even though it has all the bugs that were originally in the in the PS1 because it's you know it is it is the PS1 but it really showcases how much this game can be improved that graphically it looks just as good and in some cases looks superior than the Steam version the only thing that the Steam version has for it at this moment is the fact that it fixes a lot of the bugs that were in the original PC version and the original PS1 version, and of course the awesome Seven Heaven mod that completely overhauls this game and makes it just beyond beautiful. I mean, if it wasn't for these things, I would honestly, honestly, honestly say, don't even bother. If you still have the original PS1 version, use the EPSXE emulator. I mean. If it only was the graphical options, I would just say go to, to actually the emulator. But since we're in 2017, I mean, you try to find this game like on eBay and stuff like that. Uh, they, the original PS1 disc, they're super expensive. You know, it's a collector's item. So honestly, at this point in 2017, just get the Steam version you know, upload the Seven Heaven mod if you have a great PC, you know, if you have a gaming rig, which is 2017, even the most basic PC and Walmart could could probably do some of those graphic mods, you know, little to no problem. So, I mean, in all in all, I mean, at this point, this game, it's almost very hard to find the original PS1 version at a decent price and use the emulator. But, you know, there's nothing. I mean, the Steam version is more than adequate. It does a great job. It fixes all the problems. Graphically, it's good. Um, you can find this game cheap in Steam. I think uh, I got this Final Fantasy Seven and A for ten bucks. You know, which is a fantastic deal. Final Fantasy Seven and A are awesome games. So at this point, I mean, there's no really point of, you know, 
spending a lot of money unless you're an avid collector. Just get Steam version, upload the mods, and you know, you are good to go basically. So that is the end of this video. Obviously, like, comment, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more comparison videos between PC and actually emulators console remasters versus the original version and actually emulators i've been getting decent you know reviews with this video so i'll probably do more and as always guys you know just enjoy your games and have an awesome day